I was writing games when I was, you know, 12, whatever. So essentially, you didn't go ask anybody who made this up? No, 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 it doesn't work. I asked Dawn and she told me to do this. A really good example is you can see the coffered ceiling. And I, I definitely think it's a fun environment in a game to play in. There's some natural uh, erosion going on. She's still bluffing. It all ties together. It's all one big bundle of this is the universe, and you touch something here, and it moves something over there. <laughs> and before you know it, you have this world that you created in your own mind that you can sort of experience. Just bring in one of these guys, pop them down. I love the undead. <laughs> I try to use them as much as possible. When you have something that's powerful, it has a great capacity to be really cool or a great capacity to really make insanity. Study the skeleton, and you know exactly how it should move. Everything's connected. You know, there's not one joint that you can just move independently, really. Generals and kings have knelt at my command. That's such a cheesy line. That sounds good when he says it. See, my wife will not be happy, but I have a Patrick Stewart picture in my wall right there. So you guys know our demo machine melted last night? Better now than next week. Feed me, Lord. I don't know what kind of titanium alloy packing stuff they've got, but whatever it is, I just hope it can take a push out of a plane at 30,000 feet. I'm gonna make video games and everyone's gonna play them. You dork. Go back to the chess club. Who's laughing now? <laughs> yes, I was in the chess club.